This is a MTU 4000 series, 12 cylinder diesel engine. It's a 2,250 horsepower engine and runs at 70 to 80% for its entire life. It's used in hydraulic fracturing. They pump sand and water down a well at extremely high pressures to help extract the oil and natural gas. Ran Schaefer's durability advantage 15W40 for the entire life of the engine. Drain intervals were at 800 hours, which is much farther than what conventional oils would allow. The engine has never been overhauled. MTU recommends 10,000 hours. They have used Schaefer's fuel additives for the life of the engine as well. That's the injector out of the Tier 1 MTU 4000. This unit's been on our fuel additive since new. One of the first things you look at is the cleanliness of the exhaust ports. And you can see that there's very little buildup on these exhaust ports, especially for an engine with 21,000 hours on it. So that's a testament to two things. The fuel additive has kept all of your carbon buildup and all your emissions down. Another thing is that you haven't had a lot of engine oil blow by. It's a testament to what's on the inside of the engine. So if the exhaust is clean, then the inside of the engine is going to be clean. And we'll find that out here before long. We're looking at a portion of the camshaft. The lobes look to be in very good condition. They're nice and smooth, no pitting. I don't see any scoring of any kind. You know, it's perfectly centered. There's no wobble in it. The wear is exactly the same on all of them. That wear mark, there's no ridge, there's no defined edge. So it's riding on there perfectly. I mean, there's no sludge in this engine. There's no oxidized oil, 21,000 hours. It's equivalent about a million and a quarter miles, you know, which is a credit to not just the oil, but the fuel treatment as well. This is a 6.7 inch bore, 7.4 inch stroke on this MTU 4000 engine. There's no scuffing on the piston skirts. The combustion in this engine was, was almost as perfect as you can get. Very little debris, no real soot accumulation on the top of the piston. The oil control ring and the two compression rings are good. If you're looking at the rock arm assemblies, as you can see from the cam, there's little to no wear. Remarkably clean, no sludge, no caked on mess. To not see any wear at all on any of this, including the caps. There's no wear down in here, which corresponds with this. No wear at all. All the bearing surface is here. It's nice and smooth and not discolored. This part here has no bearing surface at all. There's no metal, metal contact here. And this is where you see a bunch of sludge and everything all caked up usually. None there at all. The rollers, is just mirror finished right out of factory practically. It's reusable. So if this is at 21,000 hour of life, and normally these are disposed of or replaced at 10,000, I don't see why we couldn't go to 30,000 hours, take another one apart, see how it's doing, and maybe we can go 40. Nowhere to speak of on the shaft here. There's a little bit of stain there. It's not oil. That's the loaded side. When I run my finger across this, I can't feel any real significant wear. This is the, uh, the rod bearing, the upper and lower rod bearing. This would be the lower and obviously the upper. The wear appears to be even and minimal. Again, we're looking at almost 22,000 operating hours in a really heavy uh, dust and dirt environment. So these look really good to me. You know, these are actually two sets of the main bearings out of the engine. Minimal amount of wear. There is a little bit of scratching here just from the removal process. The loaded side or the lower looks very good. Obviously, the engine is running really well and evenly. And the wear patterns, what little there is of it, is perfect. They're, they're all exact matches. So that's four cylinders, but all 
exactly match. So you don't have one cylinder that's leaking or one cylinder that's misfiring. The firing pattern, the combustion, and the power generated by each cylinder is exactly the same. For nearly 22,000 hours, they look very good to me. There's no coking on any of these valves, which means that the oil seals are still intact on the valve stems. So you're not getting any oil in there that's gonna get burnt. It's just remarkable to see how clean the bottom of those valves are. There's no carbon built up on the valve seat. So those edges are very, very clean. The combustion pattern is very, very good because it's perfectly aligned with intake and exhaust. Typically, oil builds up in blind spots where it pools and settles and creates a sludge. There's nothing there. That is just straight oil. There's no grit. There's no abrasiveness. Clean as a whistle. On the exhaust side, it's not burning any oil. That's just dust. It's just perfect combustion. No oil at all. These are all the original valves, original springs, original valve stem seals. All of them 21,000 hours old. got a high pump crank in it. And we've got this kind of life and yeah. minimal wear, then it's yeah. even more impressive. So it oils only from one side if you've got this style crank. And these two front bearings failed because it oiled from the back side. So yeah. whenever they failed, it slung a rod through the side of the block. Tech, we go, lost your core right and nine yards. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like this one had the inferior it's crank. You know, once it plates up on the metal surfaces like on your bearings and stuff. It takes 500,000 pounds per square inch to grind it off. And the PAO, the base oils, they're real tenacious and they cleaned everything. So even if it's not getting good oil pressure on these, then you've still got a really good tenacious film 